So this week, Jeep D40 Mini came out and this is game changing for the entire industry. The reason why this is so cool is that before, Jeep D40 was still way more expensive. So it's like you're a little hesitant to use it on like most applications. But now, Jeep D40 Mini is supposed to having more intelligence than 3.5 and be a little bit worse than GPT-40. So now we can do a lot of applications now with a high level intelligence at less than half the, the cost of GPT-45. So in today's video, I'm going to show the comparison intelligence between the two, and then we can go and figure out what works and doesn't work from a real life perspective. A lot of people are doing tests on very basic dummy questions, but I will do real life scenarios that I use in my software business, and I can show you what really helps and what doesn't. So here we're going to start with the basic example for both, right? Write me a script that will print one to a hundred for the flash sequence and print even or odd before the text. Okay. So you can see here the, the, the functions are almost the same. So that's good. I think this one's a little more optimal than this one, but it's good enough. All right. Next one, write me a finite state machine about the Hanoi game. So Hanoi, um, tower game is basically a very complex logic logic game. So basically, I want them to encapsulate this into a finite state machine, which is an, a type of algorithm in software development. So by doing this, it can really I can really see its understanding of logic and like put it into proper code. So here, GPT Mini, it created the tower. So this it created its own class, it does this and it prints the rods so it can move between. So this is pretty good. It does create the stuff state machine and it gives some explanation. On the 401, it decided to use a library instead of coding from scratch, which is interesting. It's so interesting how it runs the two different answers. I feel like this answer is actually better than this one because like sometimes like OpenAI might use uh, a library that doesn't work very well. So this is interesting that 4.0 had a better answer. So let's go to the next one. So this one, uh, write me a poem and use the first letter of the seasons in my poem. So it's interesting here on the 401, it put four lines and this one's three lines. So I don't know, I'm starting to feel like mini is a little better actually than, than the regular one. Okay, so now next one, this is, this is like a context window test basically. So the idea is that we have 2000 tokens and basically I want to test, tell it to find me the password in the middle of this, of this text. So this is a very good test to test context window. So it could find the password in one and it find the password in both. So that's good. Now let's do, um, now let's do uh, 16,000 context window. So this one, this is 8,000, which I'm pretty sure you can do. Let's do 16. So let's just create a new chat for this. So that, uh, interesting. So it won't let me load this. So the GPT 4.0 did it, but 4.0 mini didn't let me. So that's very interesting that, and let me just try this one more time. It seems like 4.0 can't do the context window in the sense that they're saying. So this might be a limitation, but let, let's try, let's just give it one more chance here. Okay, so it's interesting. So it, it did get back the answer. It just took a very long time, but that's, that's pretty interesting. I think ChatGPT does block the, the, the answers to be from too, too long here. So that's interesting. Okay, so let's keep going. So basically we have four levels of logic. We have four levels of logic and I wanted to do some calculations. So it looks like Mini is giving a more faster answer and they both gave two different answers. So that's very interesting. Okay, now I want to do role playing. So basically I want to see their ability to role play. So I don't want to pretend to be a five-year-old boy and write me an email for a serious matter. Now it looks like they're not giving the right answer here. Let me just try again. Maybe it's context window problem. It's very interesting. It looks like GT40 and Mini are not role playing very well. Like I say you are scared of everyone's write me an email. It doesn't know that it wants it to write in that format. That's very interesting. Like when we use Lama and the other ones, it does it correctly. So this is interesting. Now, this is the next one. So basically we have a sales transcript between two people and I want the AI to give me the requirement breakdown of it. So it looks like the answers are about the same, but I think Mini is actually better at like giving more precise answers. Now I want it to give me a breakdown of complex topics and it's comparison of answers between the two. So I think the answers are about the same-ish. I think it's doing a better job here of the comparison than 
than the GPT-4 Mini, okay? And then the next one is giving one word answers. So by doing the comparison between GPT-4 All and 4 Mini, I would say is 4 Mini gives more precise answers and it's more raw. I think GPT-4 All is using more libraries. It's giving more deeper explanations. So I think they're pretty, they're pretty much equivalent. Um, I think the difference is like cost for the most part. There's one hiccup that we had where basically I told to role play as a five-year-old boy and it didn't do well. And I think maybe just the way that OpenAI treats the prompts is a little bit different. Like when I did the same prompt on the open source models, it worked perfectly well. So overall, I think it's a good change. And I think it's usable for more scenarios when you need a cheaper price. And let's see what else OpenAI has for us in the future.